TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from Thundering, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we've got a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag, the New York Stock Exchange, just turned slightly positive. The trainees are up 129. They're probably headed, they're trading at 15,323. They're probably headed to the 15,537 level. The Dow's off 65. The S&P's down 5. NASDAQ's off 80. Russell's off 5. Semis are down uh, 14 points. Gold's off 8 bucks. Let's go take a look at our, our U.S. indices out here. Uh, give me a moment just simply to switch the uh, screens and uh, momentarily we'll begin by seeing the Dow in the upper left hand corner. So, so far today, what the Dow has done, it's pulled back to a breakout level. In other words, if you were looking to go along the Dow, you would have had that set for the price area of 13,253. Price got down a little bit before. Below that, it has held. Now, if price closes below that 34,253 level, that tells us about a continued move lower and that continued because breakout support will have failed. And that would then target 33,526. Are we there yet? The answer is no. The S&P 500 uh, has gone and hit bar number eight. So this is going to be a bar number eight of a TD9 count. It's got Rhodes Mintum indicator signal triggered, but uh, price still above that oscillator and change line. It remains bullish. But we could see a top that either forms today through Thursday using the TD9 count pattern. If we take a look at the NDX 100, no topping signal yet, and we haven't seen a higher high. Today will become bar number eight, but this will not be a TD9 count topping signal yet. That would have to come with a higher high today or one tomorrow or Thursday. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, just simply pulling back, testing that oscillator and change line, that oscillator and change line, which is green, says the Russell 2000 remains bullish. Now, it's got resistance at 2340, 60, and support at 2313, so kind of a narrow range. The semis out here, no topping signal whatsoever in it, other than and its signal is that it wants to move higher. And higher means 329576, you're 3242. So about another 50 points to the upside, not that I can't take that out, but that is where it is targeting. The transports, I mentioned, they are going to form a TD... Oh, I'll take that back. Hold on a minute here. In order for the transports to form a TD9 count, they have to close below 15,288 today. And you're at 15,325. Nonetheless, price very well, very well, maybe targeting the 15,537 level. Hey, folks, stay tuned for the Power Trading Hour. David White, he's up next. He's my favorite polar bear. He should be your favorite polar bear as well. Tom O'Brien to take us on home. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.